Throughout the Second World War, thousands of civilians and innocent people were slaughtered and executed by the German army and the Nazis. There were a horrific number of mass killings, and still today a number of crimes have yet to be uncovered, and bodies still lie under the earth. Some of the most evil crimes were committed against civilians, as many found themselves deported to concentration camps, and they suffered at the hands of the evil Nazi guards. Across many Nazi-occupied lands, there were stories of brutality and evil conducted by the soldiers, and inside of Italy, the same occurred, despite the fact throughout most of the conflict, the Italians and the Nazis were closely linked in an alliance. Mussolini and Hitler were best friends, however in 1944, there was one young 20-year-old girl, who would be made a martyr because of her evil treatment by a Nazi soldier. Teresa Bracco was subjected to a horrific ordeal, and was executed in cold blood by an evil German soldier. But what is her story? Join us today as we find out, and as always, to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Teresa Bracco was born in Dago in Savona in 1924, and she was part of a very large family, having six other siblings. Her parents were modest farmers, and when she was around the age of three, two of her brothers would die within a week of each other. Her family were worried about leaving the farm to the daughters when they were older, and they preferred a son to take possession of it. However, in 1924, Teresa was baptised, and she was named after a saint. The family were very religious, and in the evenings her father oversaw the recitation of the rosaries, and Teresa often recited these as she would do a number of jobs around the house. Many people were impressed with her, including senior priests, and she was given a range of religious books and texts to read and study as a young girl, to develop her knowledge. She made her first communion in spring 1931, and then received her confirmation in October 1933. She was incredibly devoted to her religion, and she often rose early in the mornings to walk over a kilometre to attend the Mass. She claimed in 1933 that she had a religious vision, and she saw a saint with his motto, Death Rather Than Sin and with this she applied this motto to her life. She began to read about this saint's life, and she continued her religious devotions. Throughout her teenage years she was a rather modest girl. She appeared shy and timid, and dressed modestly, turning her back on makeup. But many men and boys inside of the town saw her as a beautiful woman, and they wanted to walk with her to mass or inside of the fields. But as the Second World War broke out, chaos would be brought to Italy. Italy joined the war as one of the Axis powers, and was joined at the hip with Nazi Germany, as Hitler and Mussolini swore an alliance to each other. Mussolini knew Italy was not ready for a long conflict, but Italy would be involved in a number of invasions, and they would also annex a series of lands. However, eventually Mussolini would be turned on, and he was placed in custody upon the order of King Victor Emmanuel III, which provoked civil war. Its occupied and annexed lands fell under German control, and despite Mussolini being rescued by German soldiers, on the 13th of October 1943, the Kingdom of Italy officially joined the Allied powers, doing a U-turn, and they declared war on its former Axis partner Germany. The north of Italy would be occupied by the Germans, and they cooperated with Italian fascists, and this became a collaborating puppet state, and here the Germans would do almost as they pleased. Teresa Bracco's father would die on the 13th of May 1944, and this greatly upset her, but within a few months chaos would be brought to her local village and region. On the 28th of August 1944, she went to morning mass at 7am as always, and then following this she went to work in the fields of her farm, alongside her two sisters Adele and Anne. But the girls then heard three gunshots, and at 9am, a group of Italian partisans on the run told them not to return to their home. They said that the German soldiers were fast approaching their position, and that they would be in a huge amount of danger. The partisans told them it was possible the German soldiers would assault them, and the girls wanted to go home to help their mother, a widow, or hide, and they also wanted to go back to the farmhouse to collect a number of possessions to help them escape. They also wanted to collect important possessions, including a photograph of their father. But the Nazis entered her hometown of Santa Giulia, and they pushed back the Italian partisans. 
Whilst inside the town they caused chaos and ran rampant, breaking into many homes and looting them, and they also hunted partisans and paraded them as spoils of war to the locals. At 3pm the soldiers got there, and Teresa Bracco hid behind a rock, however she was discovered by the Nazis. The Nazis had kidnapped and abducted a number of other women from the town, and they abducted Teresa. The Nazis paraded her, along with the other women, which included her cousin and her child, and her child was given to Teresa to hold for a short while. But the Germans then became very angry, as a young child began to scream and cry. However, Teresa's brutal ordeal was just beginning. A Nazi soldier grabbed Teresa and then marched her into the woods on her own. She tried to run and escape and find help, but the soldier then managed to capture her. Angered, he then forced her onto the floor and tried to strangle her, and Teresa Bracco put up a fight, knowing if she didn't then she would probably be killed anyway. The soldier was trying to assault her, and Teresa continued to resist, but then the German soldier pulled out his pistol, moved it over Teresa's body, and held it over her heart. He then pulled the trigger twice, firing two bullets into her heart, killing her instantly. After this, he pushed the dead body to the floor, and then he stomped on her skull, and left her in the woods to go and commit more horrific crimes. The local priest, Father Natale, then searched the woods to look for the women who had been abducted, and he then discovered Teresa Bracco's dead body, with her hands crossed over her chest. A bullet had passed through one of her hands, and was found lodged in her upper chest, and there was also a pale mark on her throat, there were also many bruises on her face, along with bite marks across her arms and chest. Her remains were quickly covered, and then a doctor was fetched to confirm her death and to examine what had happened in her final moments. The day after her body was found, her funeral occurred, and then in 1989 her body was exhumed as part of the beatification process. Teresa Bracco was just 20 years old when she was brutally slaughtered by a Nazi soldier inside of a forest near to her home. She was subjected to a horrific ordeal in her final moments, and she had her whole future ahead of her. She was a young farmer who had recently lost her father, and she was a very religious young girl. But at the hands of the evil German army, she lost her life in terrible conditions and circumstances, and she was just one of thousands of civilians who were killed by the barbaric acts during the Second World War. Teresa Bracco's story is one which deserves to be well known. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.